Cancel Court is an improv comedy show. Some opinions and statements are exaggerated for entertainment purposes. The views expressed on Cancel Court are solely those of the individuals providing them and do not reflect the opinions of Defiant Digital or their respective affiliates or employees. Basically, we're going to piss a lot of people off, but fuck it. Cancel Court with Judge Tony Towns. In this episode, the trial of Lil Wayne's black card. Who is this nigga? This ain't the same nigga we found out the projects. Why do we have to keep claiming this nigga? And now, let's go to the courtroom. In this quarter, the defense. Representing weirdo niggas everywhere. With a perfect record of zero wins, zero losses. Say hello to Patrick Cloud. The prosecution. If his case isn't strong, his chair better be. Say hello to Teddy Ray. Come to order. Cancel Court is now in session with Judge Tony Towns. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. We are here today to determine if hip-hop rapper and producer Dwayne Michael Carter Jr., a.k.a. Lil Wayne, black car should be revoked and canceled immediately. We have Mr. Teddy Ray representing the prosecution and the defense is represented by Mr. Patrick Cloud. Both sides will present factual evidence that will help determine the outcome of this case. I expect that both parties have done their homework and will present your evidence accurately. The prosecution and defense will have opening statements and then the battle will begin. We will end with closing arguments once completed. The jury of your peers will decide the fate of Mr. Dwayne Carter, AKA Lil Wayne. What are the rules in my court? There are no rules. Talk that shit, justice slang and slogans. Are we clear? Uh, yup. All right, let's proceed. We will start with Mr. Patrick Clout. Real quick, I know it's been a long day, um, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Real quick, if I can get some participation. Weezy F Baby, please say the what? Mm, that feels really good to say. Um, I can't believe this is even a thing. I cannot believe this is even a question. You guys wanna take away Lil Wayne's black card? Lil Wayne, are we talking about the same Lil Wayne? All right, well, let me, let me just paint the picture for you, okay? Imagine you are a little black girl growing up in New Orleans, circa 1999, right? Okay? Your only music choices are the East Coast, where niggas just set a trash can on fire and rap over <laughs> drums, or you got West Coast, where every single beat has a theremin in it for some reason. People crip walking, you hear the chucks through the music. And then all of a sudden, the South comes out. You got UGK, Juicy J, 3-6 Mafia. They start a whole, new, a whole new movement. Within that movement, you have cash money come out, out of nowhere, New Orleans. Juvenile comes out with that one music video, what's it called, huh? You see New Orleans, everybody's sweaty. Everyone was so sweaty in that video. It was brand new. It was something that we knew. They took over for the 99 and the 2000s, okay? Birdman wasn't paying nobody. Hit after hit, not paying a damn artist, okay? They completely took over the music industry. Now within all of that chaos, in the epicenter of this new wave of hip hop, you have a little kid seeing all of this, drugs, sex, studio sessions, all this kind of stuff. You know who else? You know who else grew up in the industry? You know who else was a product of their environment? Jackie Chan. Bruce Lee, Goku, Vegeta, Mozart, Chris Brown, Beyonce. These are all people who grew up in the environment and became prodigies. Vegeta? <laughs> the, the, the list got thin. We are talking about taking the black card from somebody who was in Drop It Like It's Hot. Think about that. A child was on that song. A child, Lil Wayne. He coined the term Drop It Like It's Hot. He coined Bling Bling. You wanna take away his black card? You wanna take away the nigga who took, he gave us bling bling. Black people would be in the stone age if it wasn't for the word bling bling. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cloud. Mr. Teddy Ray, you look very presentable today. I like your outfit that you wore to the court. Oh yeah, man, I, uh, oh, I got caught in this chair. Pull the chair, oh Lord. <laughs> you know. Does the chair have any <laughs> evidence against the... Just calm down, nigga. Just because you ain't blessed and thick with it don't mean <laughs> that my statement is less valid. <laughs> What's up, man? How's Anybody going, tell you you look like Judge Mathis? I, I've gotten that quite Like a bit. the third or the fourth, not yeah. the real, but like his offspring. Oh. 
thank you, Mr. Ray. I appreciate the okay. compliment. Um, how y'all doing? Cancel court. Uh, that was a good argument you displayed. Thank you. For who? Lil Wayne. Wheezy F who? Baby. Please say the what? Baby. Cause he's still a what? Baby? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Never heard it's that. a fucking child. <laughs> it's a 58 year old child. <laughs> With hella artwork and bullshit all over his face. <laughs> Who is this nigga? This ain't the same nigga we found out the projects. <laughs> Why do we have to keep claiming this nigga? <laughs> I don't know who this is. I know Lil Wayne. I know Lil Wayne. I know Weezy. I was there. Dedication one, two. Hot, sizzling. Couldn't put him out. What happened? Where'd he go? Somewhere along his journey, his dreads just came together and started clunking up. Your Honor, we, and, we're and, not talking about his dreads. <laughs> Overruled. We're not talking about his dreads. I didn't say nothing when he uh, got up here, right? You make right? a great point. I can object. <laughs> I can object. Hold up, hold up. We can't do the thing. OK, I'm no, sorry. I'm no. allowed to object. No. No. <laughs> She pulled no, a strap, y'all. Air this bitch out. She I couldn't bring Calm down. Air this bitch out. Calm down. You niggas had metal detectors? Would you like to be the thing? Calm down. I'm calm. Last I'm calm. morning. I'm calm. Thank you. Lord. <laughs> this ain't how my story is. Y'all let a nigga with a hoodie in here. It's kind of y'all phone. Now order in the court. Calm down. Oh, y'all ordered some wings in the court? <laughs> Mr. Ray, what, who ordered we will get you some wings. Proceed with your activity okay. sweater. Okay. Um. Take your time. Check your notes. You know that weed, how you cotton no. off. Huh? Oh. One hour earlier. Oh. oh, a water break while pacing. Let him take his. We, we, took, a, his, we took a we took a lawyer pacing break. Is this what's happening? Let him get himself together, Mr. Clark. You took a minute to get your waist beads together, nigga. Let me get my <laughs> motherfucking break in, my That's nigga. Funny. <laughs> Order in the court. Proceed, Mr. Ray. All right, I'm collecting. Anywho, I just feel like Little Wayne has wasted a lot of our times. And he has disrespected black culture too many times. He says racism doesn't exist. What type of You got captured out the projects at 12. <laughs> captured, your honor? Captured! Overruled, overruled. Child labor laws. <laughs> baby had that baby in the studio <laughs> all night. It could have been by choice. By choice, really? By choice, nigga, it's gunshots outside. You don't think I'm gonna make up new words, nigga, to lead the projects? He got head at like 12, 13 years old from a grown woman. I just wanted to throw that out there. You, you talking about it wasn't his choice? And that's why he has uh, cracks and all kind of shit, spiders coming out of his forehead to this day. I don't, Your Honor, I don't get when the correlation. you get head at 12, it fucks you up. I don't get the correlation, Your Honor. Let him proceed, Mr. Cloud. His hair look like chicken tenders. <laughs> Do it not look like chicken tenders? <laughs> Your Honor, we are not talking about the man's chicken tender dress. I agree, okay. subsane, Mr. Ray. I but that shit don't make sense. I understand. It's a three-piece tender with the onion rings. Are you hungry, Mr. Ray? I thought, no, but if y'all <laughs> order something, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> um, so basically, Lil Wayne's full of shit. <laughs> Just ain't shit. And I didn't notice because I was too much. Wee, 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 wee. I was blinded. I didn't know, I was in the club, choir version. Yeah, beat it like a cow. <laughs> Rodney King, baby, yeah, I beat it like a cow. <laughs> repeatedly he said this. The same way they repeatedly beat Rodney King's head in. <laughs> do you see how that's a problem? No, I do not see the correlation. I don't get what he's talking about, sir. He's confusing the audience. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm done, because I'm finna catch charges and shit in this court. <laughs> Oh, let me regroup. Let me call my mama so she can send a little prayer up for a nigga. Oh, these niggas high. Cancel court. We'll be right back.
more time. Weezy F Baby, please say the what? Baby. baby. Thank you so much. Lil Wayne is full of shit, huh? Lil Wayne is full of shit. This man came to this courtroom wearing a hoodie that says activity. <laughs> <laughs> and we all know damn well he don't do no type of activity. <laughs> and he's gonna tell me that Lil Wayne is full of shit. This is who we're believing, huh? God. This, is who we, this is who we're believing, huh? It's a mantra for the future. When he got up, the chair also rose. <laughs> the chair is not supposed to rise for the judge. But I digress. Weezy F Baby, please say the what? Baby. Thank you so, so much. He said Weezy F Baby and the F is for phenomenal. He got away with that. <laughs> the F is not for phenomenal. The PH is for phenomenal, okay? He also said, I am all white like a panda bear. <laughs> Do you know the type of influence you have to have to get away with things like this? Let's talk about his influence, shall we? Lil Wayne has influenced the entire rap game. Let's just talk about a couple of his albums. The Carter One, The Carter Two, The Carter Three. Oh, the singles are just jumping out at you. Go DJ, cause that's my DJ, right? You got It's It the Carter, you got BMJR, you got I'm so ahead of these other rappers speed up. I'm already hot while these other ones trying to heat up. These cats with y'all feet up starting to look like feet up? Y'all cats with y'all feet up is starting to look like feet up? That makes no sense. Think about it. Think right. about that's why I'm like, why are you repeating Think about that? the rap climate now. It makes no sense, okay? Lil Wayne has brought us artist after artist. Young Money, Young Moolah, baby. Nicki Minaj and Drake? If he just did that, if he didn't rap one record, if he just gave us Nicki Minaj and Drake and Young Money, he would all re automatically, you can't take away his black card. That's all I'm saying. He directly put them in the game. But what about all the people he d indirectly put in the game, okay? Let's just start with a little, a, a man in a dress by the name of Young Thug. Young Thug was literally pushed out of the vagina of Lil Wayne. <laughs> gave birth to him, cradled him, and then made him the biggest rapper of all time in our, in our generation, okay, of our time. Young Thug's influence cannot be denied. L Lil Wayne is literally a grandfather of Young Thug, and then Young Thug went on to influence our entire scope of rap. Look at all of the SoundCloud rappers with the face tats and the lean and the, and the melodies and the high pitched singing. You know what I mean? If you want to take away this man's black card, you might as well strip rap of everything that it is right now. If it wasn't for Lil Wayne, we would have everyone influenced by Common, Kendrick, and, and, and Erica Badu. And we would be in the club listening to Neo Soul. Look at the rap game after Lil Wayne and tell me that he deserves to get his black card taken. Thank you very much, Thank Judge. You, sir. I still don't know how to dismount these shits. Okay. <laughs> At this time, do you want to have a rebuttal? Fuck yeah. We'll proceed Fuck with yeah. Yeah, he ain't just gonna get up here and say all of this. Hold on, first off, <clears throat> let me get in my position. How you doing? I didn't mean, don't, don't shoot me. I was a little bit aggressive earlier. I texted my mama, she sent me back some prayer quotes. I would like to apologize. Apology accepted. And I'm praying for you and your family. <laughs> now back to you. <laughs> little Wayne might have influenced a couple little nigglets. Drake? Eh. Nigglet? I'm talking more so the thug, he, was, he pushed, pushed him out of his, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. you, don't you see how he has fucked up hip hop? Facts, no. Did, no. Tugger? Tugger? We, we, we talk about the same rapper? The same rapper? Yeah, I wear a little girl dress. I wear a little girl dress, we about nine year old little girl dress. Your Honor, I don't think that's a direct quote. That I... is a direct quote from Thugger. He said I wear little girl dresses. <laughs> That was par that's paraphrasing, sir. Proceed, please. You ain't writing nothing down. I did, I just can't read it, because I'm faded. <laughs> okay, yeah. 
Everybody loves to mention Drake, Nikki. Drake, Nikki. Drake, Nikki. Did we forget Gutta Gutta? <laughs> what about Mac Man? <sighs> Little Twist. Not every shot you take is gonna go in. Little Twist is not Lil Wayne's fault. Little Chucky? I don't even know who that is, Your Honor. Exactly. Tiger. Tiger? Tiger might be the best one. Tiger's a W. Cause he fell off and saved himself twice, maybe three times. He making a lot of OnlyFans money right now. <laughs> that was the song that did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That might be the best shit Little Wayne ever did. Cause I'ma sing that to my grandkids when I'm stressed out. You're making my points, Your Honor. He's making my points. I'm not making points. no points. I'm just saying Little Wayne needs to be canceled cause when you look back on it, he just gave us some fun, ignorant times. But what, what, what are we gonna take with us into the later parts of our life? Are we gonna turn into Little Wayne? You're turning into Wheezy. How like so? a lighter, like waffle colored version of Wheezy. I'm a little darker than a waffle. <laughs> Not the waffles that I like. Well done, you feel me? Not too crispy, but buttery on the inside. Pass all that. In closing, Wayne needs to be canceled just so he can wake his ass up. I need him to visit a barber because his hair is not healthy. It's on its last break. It's barely holding on, just like his memory. <laughs> barely holding on. He's barely cognitive. He doesn't remember the 9-9 in the 2000s. He's just saying that shit. And yes, I do feel like he fucked off this next generation. All these niggas think they can just get high off lean and hit the studio and not write. Niggas just drunk, buddy. <laughs> Cause niggas ain't thinking about bars. Thank you, Mr. Ray. You got it. You got it. What the fuck are these niggas doing? Cancel Court will be right back. Lying for no good reason about the smallest thing. Like, if you tell me that you have a bar at your house, don't invite me over for half a bottle of rum and coke. Like, that's not having a bar at your house at all. How am I dick supposed to jump off all of this information you just gave me, man? I need to see your real face. I need to see your real face without makeup. And if you hmm? take off all your makeup and you look like Shannon Sharp, hey, Skip, listen, Skip. You done took my filter off, Skip. What happened, Skip? Skip, I need to know. What up, everybody? I'm Patrick Cloud. Make sure you check out the new show, Tops, exclusively on Defiant Digital. All right, at this time, we will have closing arguments. We will start with the defense. Mr. Patrick Cloud, and I also want you to keep this in mind in your closing argument that uh, your client met with Donald Trump, and he also said that he has nothing to do with Black Lives Matter. Right, right, defend that. Just something to think about, right. but you may proceed. I guess the judge is tagging in to help you, huh? It ain't the judge. Uh, right. These are facts of evidence, sir. Yeah, Lil Wayne met with Trump, okay? Yeah, he said some pretty kooky things over the years, right? But Think about it this way. We are actively judging current Wayne right now, okay? Current Wayne, it is 2021. And like I said before, he was 12 years old when Cash Money took over for the 99s and the 2000s. It's pretty young. That's 20 years full of debauchery, drugs, unprotected sex. You know what I'm saying? Lean. He was drinking lean before there were support groups for it. Now if a rapper starts drinking lean, they have so many ways to cut. They have so many p bad stories, people with these guts saying, don't be like me. You know what I mean? A lot, of people don't, a lot of people don't talk about this. Lean makes you shit on yourself. I know this as a fact. It makes you boo-boo on yourself. 
The rappers don't be talking about that when they flick the lighters in the beginning of the song, okay? But Lil Wayne was doing it at a time where people were just watching, okay? Young kids like myself. Let's talk about what, what Lil Wayne did for, for the underdog, for the, for the little black kid who was not really a gangster, you know what I mean? He wasn't really with the backwards jerseys and the baggy pants. He did what Pharrell did. He gave eclectic young black boys someone to look after. This nigga was wearing green Uggs in the YOLO video. Think about that. That's courage. That's the courage that inspired Young Thug to do what he did. And all these other rappers to wear skinny jeans and bedazzle their faces, right? If we're going to talk about young Lil Wayne, young Lil Wayne was everything that we wanted a rapper to be. Now you guys are gonna judge an old drugged out Lil Wayne after living like a rock star for years and years and years? What about Steven Tyler? Huh? What about the lead singer of Aerosmith? He looks like a cigarette that was left out in the rain and no one is saying anything. No one's judging him. No one's talking about what he's saying on his Twitter because he's old and drugged out. We're not judging him based on today. It makes no sense. It makes seconds, no sir. sense at the end of the day. What, what here makes sense? We're saying nigga in a courtroom, you got a hoodie on, the bailiff's toes is out. Nothing really makes sense right now. She just got him done. They, they, they look nice. And the fact is, <laughs> settle, 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 settle. Y'all ain't taking, y'all ain't taking the black card. Y'all ain't taking Lil Wayne's black card. I grew up on it. Sorry. I grew up on it. What do I do? Settle, settle, settle. No, I'm, see, see I'm, just, I'm just playing with y'all. I'm just playing with you guys, okay? I'm just showing you guys the passion of a Lil Wayne fan. <laughs> now tell, now. I think now, you, just, you need to get pop one time. With that said, thank before that so. ends. With that said. Make it five seconds. Lil Wayne does not deserve his black card taken. He's That's the blackest, per yeah, 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 he's the blackest person in the rap game right now, and he inspired us all. Cuff Thank you very much. Cuff his My ass. Name's hey, 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 hey. Cuff his ass. Have a seat, sir. This makes sense. Have a seat, sir. This makes sense. Have a seat, sir. Cuff his ass to the seat. Order in the court. This is this has gotten out of hand. This will not be tolerated in my courtroom. Do you understand me, Mr. Cloud? Yes. Do you understand me, Mr. Ray? I, I guess. Yes or no? I have a father. I understand that. Okay. But y'all want to talk about Judge Greg Mathis, you about to meet Judge Greg Mathis. <laughs> That's what he's about to happen. Oh shit, they done fucked up now. Cancel Court will be right back. Daredevil girl, defiance. Israel got me being defiant. Y'all want to talk about Judge Greg Mathis? You about to meet Judge Greg Mathis. <laughs> That's what was about to happen. Like I said, proceed with your clothes and say, are you a crackhead? I think you're a crackhead. Your I'm glasses about to just hit the switches. Something. Proceed with your closing statement so we can get out of here. I got oh, things to do. No, we, we all ready to go, right? This has been such a boring trial. Who, like, who, who is this attached to Lil Wayne? <laughs> when you go to sleep at night, are you going to cry if he's off the playlist? Because I'm single. Tonight, I'm single. He's fucking the world up. He's giving everybody diarrhea. I'm sorry? IBS, nigga? Irritable bowel syndrome? This doesn't fall on Wayne. It do, you just said he got all the rappers shitting on they self. <laughs> you did say that. Oh, because of lean. Yes. Hip hop and pamper sales going up, nigga, is correlating. <laughs> I don't know how. Yes, he, 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 he took a picture with Trump. I see why he did that. I'm not mad at that. Because all niggas need, need a get out of jail free card in the back of his pocket. It worked. But I felt like he's, he's mighty selfish. Little puss ass gun charge. He could have really freed a real nigga. You could have do them two, three years, bro. Like, you, come on, my nigga. You could have got C Murder out, bro. Free jokes. Yeah. Tiger King as well. Huh? Tiger King. Come on, bro. Don't make me get racist. Yeah, you want us to play Tiger King? He can stay in there. He's a, he's a staple in the community. Over C murder? Yeah, definitely get C murder out. You have 15 <laughs> seconds, Mr. Ray. Alrighty. 
they're gonna sleep just fine, with or without Wayne, right? No, y'all gonna miss him that much? Well, fine then, fuck it. I guess, I guess uh, he's not canceled, because y'all don't care. Y'all don't care about our youth. We're not sending him to jail. We have to, we have to do something. Because if he writes one more statement on his body, one more loose statement, my nigga. But yeah, that's my argument, man. Fuck, fuck Lil Wayne. I don't care what he do, his black card is revoked. Thank you, sir. He ain't the same nigga from the projects. All right, so now that you've heard both sides present their argument, we have Mr. Teddy Ray representing the prosecution. We have Mr. Patrick Cloud representing the defense of defending Lil Wayne. Now the verdict is in. All those in favor of canceling Lil Wayne black card, raise your right hand and say yay. Yay. Thank you, Mr. Ray. Thank you. All Shit. those in favor of not canceling Lil Wayne's black card, raise your hand and say nay. Nay. <laughs> nay. It is hereby determined by the jury and peers of this court that Lil Wayne's black card is not revoked and it will not be canceled. That's the order. No! The order's adjourned. No! Great job, sir. No. Un All right, we'll try to stand yourself. up real quick then. We both locked yeah, in. Yeah, we both taking these chairs. We both, us. yeah, nigga. Yeah, okay. See, yeah, nigga, locked up, nigga. <laughs> locked up. Body locked up like the subway in Harlem. Call him, Weezy F baby. Please say the baby. <laughs> I knew I was gonna win this. Come on now. Man, fuck this court. This was a sh shoe in. You can't take away Lil Wayne's black card. He taught us all how to be black. Fuck the judge. Fuck Patrick. This verdict, straight bullshit. We was wearing bape sweaters, we looking like ice cream cones in high school, being made fun of every single day, talking all weird, pretending like we was like, we talking like a gremlin and a goblin. Like Lil Wayne taught us how to be cool. You can't take away his black card. Separate at least three or four of them dreads into more dreads. Do it like string cheese, like shh, 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 you know? Teddy came in a hoodie with sleep on his eyes. I've never seen cargo pockets in a courtroom in my entire life. It's hard to cancel a nigga like Lil Wayne because I'm rooting for him, but I just want him to do better.